Not a whole lot of rain just yet. Just talking to John Van Pelt. In fact, if we can get him up right now and talk to him. He has been monitoring the situation there from Nags Head during the day today. I can see the sea has definitely come up some, John, behind you there. Uh, what, what's the worst of what's going on right now? I see the wind's blowing pretty hard, too. Yeah, David, you know, our, at the end of the pier, I'm at Jeanette's Pier in Nags Head. It's a thousand foot long pier at the end. Several hours ago, they were reporting sustained winds in the 30s, had a gust of 33. Uh, and where I'm standing about a thousand feet in from the end of the pier, it's in the mid 20s sustained. And uh, every once in a while, there's some gusts that kind of knock me around a little bit. As you said, the, high, the tide has come up a lot since I got here earlier. Rip currents earlier were one of the biggest concerns, and they will be again tonight between 10 and 11 during low tide, but luckily that's going to be night time. So hopefully people who are out at dark will uh, pay attention to those no swimming flags that they won't be able to see. Yeah, absolutely. Now just off to the south of you, John, there we're looking at some of the buoy data and some of the stations, marine stations there along the outer banks of North Carolina. It very easily over the past uh, 12 hours or so, we've seen 30 mile per hour wind sustained with some gusts of 35. There's one just south of Ocracoke that looks like it's about 34 miles per hour there with eight to nine foot seas. Is that pretty indicative of what you see there? Yeah, the, you know, they're saying the waves with this high, uh, high tide advisory, this high wave advisory, uh, are six to nine. And earlier behind me, it's cleared out now, there was a surfing competition. So for those guys, it was a great day today. The wind was not great for them. A couple of them got knocked up against the piers, but the wave action, as high as they are, it's been a great day for surfers, dangerous for anybody else. Yeah, right now we've got a nine foot uh, wave height coming in from buoy 44 100, a very famous buoy out there for recording some winds in excess of 150 a couple of times with hurricanes. Remember Gloria coming up through there, by the way. Uh, this is a, a situation here where if this drifts a little bit further to the north over time, uh, we may have some problems up into Chesapeake Bay as well as uh, what we're looking at. That's Albemarle right there, the sound. And as you go northward, you're up into Chesapeake. Now, have you heard anything coming from up there at this point, John? I haven't any, heard anything from north of here. You know, one of the concerns, David, is going on into tonight and tomorrow now that the uh, the advisory has been uh, extended by 12 hours. Not only will the wave action and the potential of uh, some beach erosion be a big deal, there's going to be more rip currents tomorrow, and we might get three to six inches of rain down here. So that's going to cause some coastal flooding for sure if that happens. Yeah, that would be the case, and certainly what we're watching. John Van Pelt, who's there on the outer banks of North Carolina, he'll be watching what's going on from Kitty Hawk down to Nags Head. John, thank you very much for that. Appreciate it.